Hey, happy new year, everybody. Yeah, I'm not so happy for the Mojave, but <laughs> 2020's over. All right, what happened here? Uh, uh, Jimmy came down for the New Year's weekend or whenever, and uh, we went out to the parkade, did a little driving, and I don't know, hit something, flipped over, and this shit broke. This shit brand new. This shit, this was its maiden voyage. Voyage. And I just put everything, transferred everything over to it from uh, the old one. This is uh, Mojave number four. That's it. The other two were gone on, sold on eBay. Mojave number three. That one was sold to Jimmy this weekend. And Mojave number five, which is the EXB. That one's still waiting for electronics and shit. And I did put some. Uh, CVDs on that. We'll go over that. That that did not work out right as normal. Anyway, this shit all broke, man. Look at this. Snapperoo. I thought it was bent, but then when I took it apart, I said, "Oh, it broke." And this one's like beer can thin. I don't even know what this shit is. Let me see if I can get it out. But uh, yeah, this shit just. Snap a root. It wasn't that bad of a crash. It wasn't, you know, it's driving on flat land, on dirt, no jumping. But yeah. And the case it blew the case out. See right there. So luckily, I had another case just laying around. But I did not have all this stuff. I didn't think this was broke. I thought this was a uh, just bent, and I'd bend it right back. And that didn't happen. So uh, what I did was I bought these, all this stuff. And the pins that actually go on a EXB. It was five dollars more <laughs> compared to the parts for it for the ready to run. I was like, screw it. I'll get the and the, supposedly they, these things are steel instead of this uh, brittle aluminum. I and mean, it was like thirty seven degrees outside. But, yeah, whatever. And then I went to put C V Ds on the EXB. And the EXB has them new hubs. These things are just a little longer, and this is a little thicker. You can't put CBDs on the back of that with them new hubs. So what I had to do is I had to take the new hubs off the back of the EXB. This is not the EXB. This is a ready-to-run. And take some ready-to-run hubs and put them on there so I could use the uh, CBDs on it. So I actually put the extended, the newer version one ever two hubs on Jimmy's and I took his normal hubs. <laughs> Worked out fine. So, yeah, we're good to go. But yeah, for whatever reason, that shit, you couldn't put CBDs on the rear of the XB if you left that uh, the hub on there. So anyway, so I'm waiting for parts. Like I said, I spent the extra five bucks, 20 some bucks, 25, 27. And got all these parts that came off of EXB. All right, well, I was fiddling with it. This has got a little bend to it, too. I thought it was tweaked this way, but it wasn't. It seems to be bent down a little bit. It might be just because I got all these braces disconnected, but not enough to matter. It's hard to tell. Eh, whatever. <laughs> we'll put it back together. Like I said, I'm still waiting on the parts. It took me like five minutes to get this damn thing off. You can see all the gook in there. See all that red shit? But it was just glued on there. I had to stick a screwdriver in this way, a screwdriver in this way, and then pry both the screwdrivers at the same time to try to get this damn thing off. So yeah, they're uh, they're still uh, Loctite crazy. All right, now on these uh, rear hubs, well, any of the hubs. Get that out of the way. These are the old style. And I guess because the wheels were falling off, they made a new style. So it's a little thicker here and a little taller there. So you got a little, few more threads, so there's a little more nut inside the wheel, which is a good idea. But the bad part is, these do not work on the rear with CVDs. It's too tight. It's, there's, the, wind, the wheel will not spin freely. If you put this back on, trying to put a CVD on the back. It, it won't work. It's too tight because this is taller. And like I said, on the EXB, I had to put these on the back, the st standard ones, version one, we'll call them. <laughs> I'm not sure what version they are, but 
because these big long ones will not work on the back. It's just too tight. There's not enough gap in between. It takes all the slop out. So that's why all that slop wasn't in that uh, EXB, because they put these on it and it took all the damn slop out. So save yourself some uh, shims and just pick these up. These longer ones and it'll take all that damn slop out. And it won't be so bad. So anyway, so yeah, like I said, I had to put these on instead of these. So it'll be fine. I'm used to these damn things anyway. I just put my little drop of super glue on there and that nut ain't coming off. All right, so we're going to get this put back together. Put these CBDs back on this uh, EXB, which is no further along than it was before. I don't know, the motor and stuff is all trapped in uh, male hell or something. I don't know, it just ain't moving. It's stuck in one spot. I don't know what's going on. I got a few things. One thing that I had to cancel. I had another body coming in. That I ordered on the 10th of last month. Still ain't got here, so I canceled that. Got my money back. And I still got uh, ESC motor combo coming in and then another motor because you'll see. <laughs> All right, so uh, when these... Uh, New parts get in to replace these beer can parts. Thin ass shit. Look at that. Just didn't even bend. It just snapped. Snapped and ripped. Eh, whatever. This shit's only like two mils thick. Even on some of the cheaper ready to runs, it's at least three or four mils. So I don't know. Maybe they thought all this plastic was going to make up for it. Plastic does not make up for metal. I'm sorry. But anyway. All right. So uh, as soon as the shit gets in, We'll put this thing back together and uh, hopefully the speed controller and ESC, the ESC and the motor and stuff come in for that damn thing. All right, so that's it for now. Like I said, Jimmy was here this weekend. That's why everything's a mess. So we'll get this cleaned up. Probably take a week, maybe more. <laughs> All right, and out here. Till next time.